What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Di Riva, and today we are gonna be making a Norwegian Negroni. Why a Norwegian Negroni, you ask? Well, I'll let you know. Marius, my producing partner, there he is, see, he's alive. A lot of people have asked me, who's Marius? Who's this Marius that you keep on referencing in videos? Well, Marius, I'll tell you this actually. When you guys leave comments, Marius is one of the guys that answers those comments. I don't know if you guys, if, if it seems like two people are answering them, but two people are answering them, me and Marius. And he's my producing partner. We decide everything together. He runs the cameras. He does the editing. And then I do the, you know, the talent. I'm the talent. And, you know, we do all the cocktail deciding together. Anyway, that's a long story. I don't need to tell you all that. You guys don't mind. You just want me to do the cocktail. Half of you are going to be like, oh, the, 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 the drink tutorial starts at three minutes and 20 seconds. No, that's kidding. I'm not going to talk for three minutes. All right, Our Norwe what makes it a Norwegian Negroni is the use of aquavit, aquavit in place of gin. What aquavit is, is a new, it's a, it's a distilled spirit made mainly in Scandinavia and Germany. Well, I guess Germany's part of Scandinavia, maybe. No, I guess Germany is not part of Scandinavia because Mary has just caught me. But it's a Scandinavian, mainly Scandinavian spirit, but they do make it in Germany. I, I read that. I read that on the Wikipedia and I believe it. Um, and it is distilled from either fermented potato or um, like a grain mash and then it is flavored with um, caraway, cardamom, sometimes fennel, vanilla. Some of them are aged, some of them are not. The one that we're using today is aged with an oak barrel. So let's get into it. The first thing we are going to do is half an ounce of chinar in our mixing glass. Chinar is an artichoke liqueur. Do not make that face. It is very yummy. And by liqueur, I meant amaro. And by amaro, I meant it's delicious, if I didn't say that before. And then one ounce of sweet vermouth. We're using Koki Torino today. And then, last but not least, the star of the show, one and a half ounces of aquavit. I am not actually familiar with the brand that we have. Marius brought it back from Norway last year and we have done nothing with it. So, and people have been asking me for aqua beets, so we are doing it today. We're gonna just add our ice. And make a little mess. And then we're gonna stir. Till it's chilled. It's nice and chilled down. Okay. And then we are going to use strain it. Now, I just want to talk about the strainer for a second because our channel sponsor, or one of our channel sponsors, Barfly Mixology Gear, sent it to us. And what I love about it is that it is like an old school Hawthorne strainer, but it is made to sit snugly into a mixing glass, which is awesome. And no ice gets through it. You can just Strain right into your glass. No ice gets through it. It is brilliant. And then we're just going to pull a nice orange peel. I'm going to zest it. And there we have it. The Norwegian Negroni. Now let's try this. I forgot to mention... Uh, this cocktail was, ooh, that is brilliant. Oh yeah, that is. You got subtle notes of, neve, ne, of, of vanilla. The orange pop is right on the top of it. Um, the aquavit and the koki are so good together. Guys, I hope this gets a lot of use because this is an amazing cocktail. Uh, what I was going to say is that I forgot to mention in the tutorial that this um, cocktail was invented by the bar owner of Beaker and Flask, and his name is Kevin Ludwig. Kevin Ludwig. Uh, so I just want to give credit to Kevin Ludwig for a delicious Negroni variation. 
That is the Norwegian Negroni, my friends. Enjoy it.